When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. When most people think of New York City, images of a vibrant, bustling metropolis come to mind. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas.
But what many people do not know is that the city is home to some 11,000 hectares of parks, as well as marshes, wildlife, hiking trails, and recreation areas. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. And Sarah Oquan, director of New York's Urban Park Rangers, helps to inform them. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years. Through the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, urban park rangers have been providing environmental education programs to the public for 30 years.
for Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. For Oakland, it's a dream job. I was always bringing animals home as a kid, um, repeatedly brought home eggs that I tried to, you know, incubate and hatch. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings.
Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. Oakland oversees a force of more than 25 rangers. She also runs nature centers in all five of New York City's boroughs, or districts, and manages an education program that tries to teach children respect for their natural surroundings. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy.
that sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. That sense of connection, it gives them a sense of empowerment and a control over their environment. And I think that that's very important for kids. It, it helps to build empathy. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. As director of Urban Park Rangers, Oakland has expanded outdoor adventure programs like overnight camping, fishing, and raptor conservation. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations.
but she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. But she's also found herself in some unusual urban wildlife situations. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. I've had a lot of interesting experiences with respect to wildlife. There have been a number of coyotes that have made their way into Manhattan. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths.
once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Once we went to, we were called to Queens, to a middle school in Queens where there were literally thousands of green frogs that had emerged from all of the um, drain pipes around the uh, school. You could barely walk along the paths. Sarah Oakland says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Sarah Oakland says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Sarah Oakland says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Sarah Oakland says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Sarah Oakland says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Sarah Oakland says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Sarah Oakland says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital.
Sarah Oquan says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Sarah Oquan says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Sarah Oquan says that educating a busy urban population about nature can be challenging, but that it is this challenge that makes her role so vital. Thank you.